Hello. We would like to welcome you to our new show with Timo Nasseri. He's a new enterer in our roster and we are very happy to have him here with his first solo in the gallery. We are, as you may already recognize, in the first space of our show. And here we are showing two paintings, this one and another one on the opposite side, and a sculpture which you see behind me, which is this one. Um, these two paintings um, are from the same work group. These are the Rezzel Dazzle ships. So to explain what looks like a totem or an insect or some type of strange mirroring camouflage is that if you would turn this painting 90 degrees to have it horizontal, then you see that it's the outline of a ship which Timo mirrored on the other side and then turned to kind of depict a new camouflage from existing camouflages. So Timo did research in camouflage systems which were developed by the British Marine during First World War when they lost many, many ships um, due to German submarines. And at that time radar wasn't existing. So what the submarines did is that they were heading where will the ship which I want to shoot at be in about five seconds. And to irritate this um, uh, conclusion, they painted the ships. So what you see here is all only painted onto the ships because of irritating the submarines. And actually this worked very good. All over there are 4,000 ships known um, which had camouflages different types of. And Timo did a lot of research and of course transformed these camouflages color-wise, but the geometric design has its origin in these ships. Here we are looking at the first sculpture in our first space by Timo Nasseri. And it is um, a part of a group of works which are made of uh, painted or lacquered steel. Um, the crazy thing about this piece is that you think that you are looking at numerous curved lines which make up this wonderful geometric piece of sculpture. But actually it's again a camouflage thing. The only curved lines we do have in the sculpture are this, this, and this atop. All connecting beams are absolutely straight, but you can not depict it with your own eye when you look from afar and even when you walk around. You think everything's curved. I love this piece very, very much. These are the newest paintings by Timo Nasseri and um, new to the entire work group of the paintings is the fact that the canvas which you see here is part of the image itself so it also is part with its color of the whole thing. Again we have a mirrored image so if you take the vertical line you have the same things right and left hand side. The painting to my right, the blue one, is the very newest one and the one which I can tell is Timo's most beloved one. Now I ask you to accompany me to the backspace of the gallery which in the meantime has become a substantial part of our shows as we are using this as an exhibition space all the time. We are looking at another piece of the Resodazel painting work group by Timo Nasseri, very intense colors with the red. Um, opposite to this piece where well, you find another one of the smaller paintings which is a bit different. As you see there is not the canvas on view but on the side you see that you have the painting 
drips down the edges, which I like a lot because it makes it much more painterly than a straight front view you have before. This wall sculpture by Timo Nursery is the newest piece um, or he produced for the show only a week before it opened. It got um, ready and then installed. As you can see, it is a very complex geometric sculpture. The title of the piece is Radiance. And what you're looking at are many, many triangular mirrors. Whereas these are not mirrors in terms of glass with a mirror foil behind it, but this is high polished steel. And though you are having all these sharp edges, it's kind of drawing you into the piece itself and you try to find out what the geometric system behind it could be. Here we have reached the other main exhibition space of the gallery and this here is the highlight and main piece of our show, the sculpture Parsec. And you look at it, you think these are numerous mirrors and you don't think that there is a system behind it, but as always with, with Timo Nasseri's works, there is. Now we are looking at a sculpture which is mirrored in both directions vertically as well as horizontally. You have this point serving as a nucleus, so you can divide it into these two halves and into these two halves. Um, it really invites you to walk around and around the piece all the time. The sculpture was always meant to be shown together with the painting Neo Demon, which you find opposite on this side here. And as you see, it is as fragmented as the sculpture Parsec, but in the two-dimensional hemisphere. The background color is a matte silver, which I find very, very delicate. Thank you so much um, for looking at our video tour. If you have further inquiries, please don't hesitate to get in touch. The show runs until November 5th. Thank you so much.